everyone, welcome back to another edition of Virtual DJ Tips. I got a lot of messages lately asking how to record and create samples. Since we've been looking at the sampler a lot lately, why not dig in and have a look? So there is actually four simple methods to create samples and we're going to look at all four today. Load a song into the deck, go over to your loop panel and click on the little two arrows that go down and that'll open up your advanced loop area and we'll just click on our loop for eight beats and you can see that it highlights the loop section the loop length of the song so what we can do is we can just play the track with the loop and make sure our loops pretty good it doesn't sound bad So the cool thing about this is that we've, we've got our section of the track looped. It's really nice. We don't even have to play it. We can just go over to our panel here and there's a little button that says Rec. So if we hit that, it seamlessly creates our looped sample. We can play it in the browser, make sure it's the same sample and it is. Okay, so now we've got a new track loaded into the deck and we're gonna look at method two. Method two is going to the mixer panel. We're in mixer mode and if we go over to the far right, you'll see master. In the master panel, we have the master record and we can record the master out to a sample file. So this is just by recording on the fly. Press play on your deck. Hit the record button, it'll record that section for you. When you're done recording, just hit the record button again. And as you see, it automatically brings up that sampler panel down the left hand side, the folder menu. And we have a new recording called master. It doesn't know what to call it because it's just recording the master deck. So if we press play, recorded basically what we had in our going out our master channel now you can go and you can rename these samples just by clicking on them right click in the menu go to your sample editor and you can see the name down here is called master we'll call it live deck and just save it and it changes the name there as well Method three is creating samples from a mic input. So if you have the mic input set up in your configuration, or you have a USB mic, or the mic port on your computer has a mic in it that you're using, or you can use just the onboard microphone of your computer, you can create a sample with your voice. So for example, if we wanted to create a voice drop, we could go into the master panel again, that's where we're in, and you've got this mic section. You could turn your mic on, or you can just simply record. So the mic on would go out the master channel so that everybody would hear you, or you can just record on the fly. So we'll just make a quick voice drop here, uh, just by clicking on record. Virtual DJ tips. So that's a quick one. If we press play on it, virtual DJ tips it's a little delayed we can go and we can edit it later but if you had something that you wanted to drop like a voice drop of some sort or you wanted to drop your DJ name in there that'd be a cool way to do it all right so let's have a look at method four method four is actually opening up your sample panel I have, there it is right there, I have a sample bank made called Virtual DJ Tips. Now, if I go over to my left hand menu, I have some songs. What if I just wanted to grab a track and drag it right into the sampler? Now that'll be the entire song, but we can go in command click or control click 
and we can go into our sample editor. And if we just wanted a small section of the track, we can grab our little blue playhead, move it to the position that we want. There's one at the end too. We can grab that and we can have like a little one bar there and just play it. So if you had a section of a song where maybe there was a vocal part that you wanted to use uh, for maybe a, a scratch sample or something just to drop in, this would be a really easy way to do it. So we can just name this, uh, change our name to uh, Quick Drop. Not the best example because it is an instrumental. And just click Save. And now Quick Drop is there. And if we go back into our sampler folder and go to our recordings, we can actually just drag and drop all of these right into the deck, into the pad, sorry. So there's my bad mic recording. Virtual DJ tips. Our quick drop. That was the one that we just edited the full song. That's our live deck that we recorded. And then we have the loop and you can see the little circle with the arrow telling you that the sample is already looped. So you don't have to really adjust anything there if you're happy with the loop that you created. So clicking on that in a pad will continue to loop it seamlessly. So hopefully that gives you a pretty decent idea of how to create, record, and edit your samples. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.